Hello and welcome back to Gaming Zero. We're doing another video about uh, Warframe. Today's video is about Exorus Glaive, not Glaive Prime or Glaive. This is Exorus. Glaive is type of the weapons that uh, they are like discs, and you throw them, and they detonate. Uh, in explosion. I have a video on how to uh, detonate it, but I'm gonna show you a, a bit in the game how to detonate it uh, as well. This weapon requires uh, mastery uh, for as well. The Exorus is a corpus a glaive processing high attack speed and unique has infinity combo duration. This weapon, you don't need Naromon uh, focus if you don't like Naromon uh, focus 3. So this weapon have like the duration will not disappear. That's why if you're gonna do, uh, if you have a ribbon for it with minus combo duration, it's a best in slot. God roll for this weapon is minus uh, combo uh, duration. Okay, so this weapon uh, primarily does slash uh, damage. Slam radius da damage deals il only electricity damage, so it have a built-in electricity. So if you add toxin, it's gonna be automatically uh corrosive you can wield it as well with one-handed uh, secondary weapons like um, uh, epitaph like uh nuker and so on and so on and so on and so on this uh weapon have uh, the largest the largest explosive explosions in all glaives it is eight meter the range of explosions this weapon is just uh, crazy it have as well a high crit uh, multiplier and the disadvantages of this weapon it have a low a bit a bit low damage and uh, a low attack range not explosive the range is a bit uh, low and very low disposition so the ribbons for this weapon is very very uh, expensive so enough talking about this uh, weapon moving forward okay so i'm going to show you how to explode so we throw the weapon okay when it reaches the mo the point where we wanted to explode if i want for example to this is uh, let's imagine this is an enemy right i want to hit right here and boom right here boom look without and with the explosion boom now look at my mouth there i'm throwing with the, i'm using the right uh there is a right button in my mouse that's what i'm using for melee attacks like here you go look this is the normal melees right okay so to detonate look at the mouse and boom the middle this one you see i'm clicking it right now that's uh that's one uh for heavy attack okay how it works you throw it when it reaches where you want it like enemies whatever you want on however distance you like you uh heavy attack and it's gonna detonate simple as that so you throw and hit throw and explode hit up simple as that hope this uh, helps you out okay as I always go uh, equivalent, like beginners and veterans and normal players can understand and can learn something always. Okay, so let's go. So this is a heavy, uh, corrupted heavy gunners, one of the badass mobs uh, in the game. Uh, one level 170, thanks to my mastery. So, one, two, and they're dead. I know you're so 679 crits. I know, and you're gonna see even more crazy now because we're going now to Steel Path mod, okay? Hank doesn't bring you bad builds, guys. And I'm gonna tell you something. Maybe you know it, maybe you don't know it. Before I release any build, any build, I go at least to Steel Path, one hour, 30 minutes minimum. Okay, navigation. As I always say, beginners and everyone can learn something. So, Steel Path, my friend, if you are new to the game and you saw this build and you saw this weapon, you say, oh, okay, it's nice. Okay, there you go. Steel Path, my friend, uh, after you finish all your normal Starshot origin system, you're going to unlock Steel Path. Steel Path is going to give you enemy level plus 100, health and shield and armor 250%, which makes them more badass. And in return, it's going to be a plus 100% resource drop chance and mod drop a chance. Okay, we're going to go invites only so we don't bother uh, other tenants with host migration and so on. We all hate host migration and I hope one day Warframe have their own servers that uh, host uh, by their own. Anyway, so uh, we're going to be here for like five minutes. It's not going to be long. So if you're running to skip the video forward to the build, not going to be long. We're going to have some fun. You're going to see some amazing uh, damage. Let's go. Before starting anything, please, the ones that love faction mods, the multipliers, please, this is a build without the faction mods, so bear with me. Next time, faction mods. 
I'm gonna make a build even the normal hits, which is stupid, but it's funny. I'm gonna make normal hits build. Don't worry, we have a long history together, so hit the subscribe button and turn the notification on. Okay? If you want, of course. First thing, like we always do. Okay, we need to get uh, some Nidus uh, stacks. The reason I'm using uh, Nidus is for one reason only. So I don't boost the weapon in any way. I'm not gonna boost the weapon in any way. Here we go. Let the fun start. Boom. One shot. We don't joke. Boom. And the good thing, the third ability of Nidus, uh, like take away the stagger of the explosion of this weapon, which makes it so good. Look at that. It's hitting even the ones at the second floor. You see here, it's hitting. Look, I'm hitting down. Wait, there is none there yet. None yet. They didn't. They don't want to spawn. Anyway. Look at 3,200,000 crits. No Eclipse. No Bane modes. Nothing. Just Nidus collecting some enemies, baby. No Riven as well. This build is without the Riven, so don't freak out. Oh, can, can I do these numbers? Can I do this stuff? Can I kill this vest? Yes, you can. No Riven. If you cannot afford the Riven, you don't need. There you go. Hank got you covered. No worry. There we go. Look, one shooting them. Look at this. And I didn't have. I survived this weapon one hour, 45 minutes, and I had no issue at all. It keep doing the same stuff, guys. It is so powerful. If you know, uh, the glaive weapons in this game is so powerful. And this is, let's say, top three. Uh, for, <clears throat> for me, maybe for you, you have another. Uh, for me, this is top three uh, strongest glaives in the game. Okay, it actually uh, cannot compete so good with Glaive Prime because uh, come on, this is Exodus and we cannot expect it. Uh, it's a corpus weapon, so we cannot expect it to be prime. But yeah, there we go. Kaboom! As you can see, guys. The weapon doing very, very, very good. Okay. And the reason I made this weapon and this build before any... Maybe you love another melee weapon and you catch this video by chance. Because I pushed this weapon forward because it like being suggested... Like being like uh, requested so much. Okay. Like uh, I got three or four Thanos. Uh, some in the comments, some in uh, Discord. We have a Discord link on the description if you join us on Discord. And they ask me to do Exorus build for them. There you go. If you ask for the weapon, I'm going to push it forward in the list. Otherwise, I'm going to go in my own list. Okay? And uh, I know I am getting a bit uh, behind with the fashion frame. But I got you covered, guys. We're backing to the fashion frame as well. I've just been focusing building uh, some uh, weapons to release for you guys. Because we have a long, long, long journey as my goal for the channel is to build every single weapon with all the styles. The Bane style, Smite style. Uh, as you know, the Banes are for rifles, the Smite is for the melee. Okay? And um, to build it the funny, st the funny uh, style, the attack speed styles, and so on and so on and so on. The crazy ones. And then we're gonna enter the era of uh, Helmnith uh, builds. And then how to synergize. I have a big plan, guys. I work with plan. So I'm sure you're going to enjoy. And so on. Okay, where is Vor? Vor? What? Vor is dead without him. I didn't even see him. <laughs> uh, and say Hank doesn't love you, guys. There you go. If uh, you're looking for a reason to subscribe to this channel and not subscribe it yet, okay. Hitting Vor without seeing him. Killing Vor without seeing him. That's your reason. <laughs> there you go. Okay, let's see our Angus, how we're gonna kill the Angus. There you go. Where is he? Come here. 
Stop. He's dodging me. There we go, guys. And easy peasy. Okay. Now it's time for us. As you can see, the uh, life support, it is... What? What is that again? Another war? Or uh, this is the same one? And it was delay in the spawn. Okay. Hello, Bar. The good thing about this uh, weapons that they have a very nice explosion that if you're killing the Acolyte, which I call the mini uh, stalkers, you don't need you don't need to worry about the life support all the time because it's gonna kill all the surrounding enemies. And this one have explosion uh, radius of eight meters, which is the top. There is no even Glaive Prime doesn't have the radius of this weapon. There you go. <clears throat> A lot of Argon. I'm gonna go to the Helmet. I'm max level with the Helmet, but uh, for uh, subsuming. There you go. I think we had enough. Uh, I mean, veterans of Warframe, they already know that. From the first minute, you can understand if the build is good or not. Like for example, when I'm testing this build, I just enter, I do like three minutes. I just hit like couple of enemies. And then I understand if the build need to be reworked or not after testing it in the... Uh, in similar recoup. I understand if the build need to be worked on and so on. So I test it on Simiricom. This is the style I do it. I build, I test in Simiricom, I take it to steel path two, three minutes. And then when I'm sure about the build, boom, kaboom. I go like one hour, 30 minutes, survive with it. And sometimes, sometimes, sometimes when the weapon fails, at like after like um, a while, which is like 1% out of one, it doesn't happen. It's one in 1000. Uh, it never happens. So uh, I have to rebuild the weapon or fix it and test it again. I cannot release for you something that will give bad reputation about me or uh, you don't like. So starting with uh, Panzer Verpofeiler. Panzer Verpofeiler is our viral uh, proc. Okay. Okay, let me show you the build there. So you guys don't... Uh, there you go. I know you're lazy. Don't want to go to the channel and check the Panzer Verpofeiler build. So here you go. Uh, let's go to the... Um, uh, moving to Exoris, there we go. Gleaming uh, Talon stands fast arcing uh, strike. Primed a pressure uh, point 150% melee uh, damage. Sacrificial steel for critical chance uh, two times heavy attacks for heavy uh, for heavy attack. Of course, amalgam organ shatter 85% critical damage, 60% heavy attack wind up speed. Primed fever uh, strike. Power throw two, uh, plus two punch through on uh, consecutive sh throw. Max three stacks plus. 100% throw damage, which makes it even stronger. Killing blow for 120% melee damage on heavy attack, 60% heavy attack wind up speed. Vol uh, volatile quick return minus four uh, bounce plus three blast radius plus 100% chance to explode on bounce. Disable punch uh, through. Uh, corrupt charge plus 30 initial combo minus 50% combo uh, duration. If you have a even with initial combo throw it instead of this one if you have a ribbon uh with uh, toxin like let's say critical chance critical damage toxin and uh, minus combo duration you can throw it instead of uh, this one as well uh if you have I, I i don't know guys if you have critical damage uh, critical critical damage critical chance melee damage minus uh, combo duration you can go oh my god the best uh, negative for this weapon is minus combo duration as you can see it have infinite we're going as well with the corrosive as you can see here, we're going with corrosive build. There you go. It's going to be uh, another uh, build, uh, of course. Actually, I need to get the fourth one. I forgot. Uh, I forgot to name uh, this build, so let's have the opportunity. I'm going to call it... Uh, there you go. Exogad no Riv. Okay. There you go. And moving forward, Naromon is just for there. But if you're going for long endurance runs, you can go Vazarin. 
for the protective dash allies hit by void dash are granted immune from damage for five seconds and healed 60 percent over five seconds it doesn't really matter guys now the focus because uh we getting a focus rework when the the uh, angels of zaniman release in 27 of uh april so yeah and this is the para zombie <laughs> i like to meme about it here is a para zombie okay so yeah guys if you have any questions need any help any anything in your mind let me know in the comments below if you want to help the channel if you like the channel if you like the content if you like me hit that uh, subscribe button the bell on the bell on and like dislike if you want let me know in the comments below as well what is the next weapon you'd like to see or the fashion frame do you like to see and i hope this mouse and the keyboard helps a bit for you to understand what i'm doing uh during the game uh, play uh, warframe is home stay safe we have discord in the description if you to join in discord i'm sorry guys if you feel i'm talking a lot you can always skip to the bill it is for the tenors who appreciate it thank you guys and bye bye